Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on constructing a Venn diagram with three sets. Now in the previous video where we saw Venn diagrams with two sets, we saw that Venn diagrams were a nice graphical way of representing sets and how sets overlap. And a set is just a collection of items. So in this particular question, we've got 170 pupils in a sports centre and those students can use the swimming pool or the tennis courts or the gym. So we've got G for gym, T for tennis courts, S for swimming pool and the T circle represents all the students who use a tennis court and we can also have the overlap of regions as well so this region here for example is the overlap of the T circle and the S circle so that overlap must be the students who use both the tennis courts and the swimming pool and in fact this region in the middle that's the overlap of all three circles and those students here must be those who use the tennis courts and the swimming pool and the gym. Whereas say in this region, because this is only in the T-circle and none of the others, these are the students who only use the tennis court and nothing else. And this region outside is the students who don't use anything at all. Remember the rectangular box represents everyone of interest. So all of the 170 students in the sports centre and all the numbers in all the regions should add up to 170 because that's how many students we have in total. So my strategy is to start from the centre and work your way outwards. So we're going to start in the very middle of the Venn diagram. This middle region, the students who use the tennis courts and the swimming pool and the gym. Where are we told that? There we go. 26 people use the swimming pool, the gym and the tennis courts. We're going to put 26 here. Remember, we can put a single number in a region just to mean how many students does that represent. Now, we're told that 57 pupils use the swimming pool and the gym. That's the overlap of the S circle and the G circle. So this overlap here of the S circle and the G circle that's the region where they overlap, which is both this region and this region. So, this, so these are students who use the swimming pool and the gym, but also the tennis courts. And these are the students who just use the swimming pool and the gym, but not the tennis courts. So these add up to 57. And if we do 57 minus 26, we get 31. So that means that these two numbers, the total of the numbers in the overlap of the S and G circle, that should add up to the 57 students here. What about next? 58 pupils use the gym and the tennis courts. So the total overlap of gym and tennis courts, which is this region here, that's the G circle, T circle, that's the overlap here that adds up to 38. So we just do 38 minus 26 is 12. So these now add up to 38. And finally, 33 pupils use the tennis courts and the swimming pool. So tennis courts, swimming pool, that's the overlap of the two who use both. So we just do 33 minus 26 and that is seven. Now we're told that 97 pupils use the swimming pool. So that's not just the students who only use the swimming pool, that's the total number of students who use the swimming pool, possibly with other facilities in the sports centre as well. So the total of all the numbers in the S circle must add up to 97. So if we do 97 and we minus the other numbers in the S circle, so we minus the 7, the minus the 26, the minus the 31, we get 33 students left. So now all these four numbers in the S circle should add up to 97. Now it says six people use a gym only. So those six students aren't the total number of students who use a gym, they're the students who just use a gym. Now this region here represents those students who only use a gym because there's no overlap with other circles because these students, for example, use a gym but also use a tennis court. We just want the students who are only in the G circle and not in the other circles because they only use a gym. Now, 22 students use a tennis courts only, so that would be 22 here. And the final region we're going to do is outside of all these circles. So all the students who don't use any of those three particular facilities. So we know that the total of all the numbers should be 170 because that's how many students there are. So if I add up all these numbers here, 22, 7, 33, 12, 26, 31, 6, that adds up to 137. So I take that away from 170 and that gives me 33 students who don't use any of those. So now all of these numbers add up to 170.